from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is the Anderson Pens Podcast. Welcome to Anderson Pens Podcast, episode 422 for Thursday, January 13th, 2022. This week, we're going to take a look at an old favorite from the Edison Pen Company. We're going to have a second look at the Pininfarina PF2. We'll talk about my ink of the week. We have not one, but two contest winners, plus two new Lamy rollerballs, and a sky full of new ink from Sailor that is coming soon. Hey, Eric. Hey, Brian. You know, uh, I got a sweater the other day. It's been cold here. It's been like cold. Yesterday, like, the high was minus two. Um, I bought a sweater at the store and uh, I had to return it. Uh, it was, uh, it had too much static electricity. Did it? Yeah, so they gave me a new one free of charge. Free of charge. Ha <laughs> ha. How you doing, Brian? Very good, very good. Thank you. Got to the mid sentence there, didn't I? Yes, you did. <laughs> Just want to mention that the little intro at the beginning yes. was the Fox River, which I think runs right in the middle of uh, Appleton. Yep, yep. We bike, uh, we bike along Yes, we Fox bike River. along. Yep. We don't yep. do it right now. It's kind of wintry. I was going to ask you the other oh. day, but... Yeah, well, you told me it's just the equipment. You learn how to layer, you can do it. So well, yes. We could try. We could try. All right. Uh, can't do it this weekend. I won't be here. Where are you going to be? I'm going to Philadelphia. Philadelphia in okay. January. That can only mean one thing. What's that? Uh, the Philadelphia Pen Show. The Philadelphia Pen Show is going on this weekend. I shall be there. Are you excited? Yes. You are? Yes. I mean, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Yes. So that does take away from the excitement. A little bit, but... But uh, masks are required. Proof of vaccination is required. Okay. I am vaccinated. I am boosted. I believe I will survive it. You look Otherwise, boosted. I wouldn't go. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. So You're uh, leaving town, too. Yes, I'm going to be in Chicago uh, next week. Which means you're going to see all the new pens that we don't get to see for a while? Well, then it's probably not going to happen next week, but, uh, uh, but Lisa's going to that be coming Lisa's up to Wisconsin. Coming here, yeah. So I'll be in Chicago for uh, probably most of, most of next week. Not that we don't really enjoy having you on the podcast. Lisa will be here yep. for the next podcast. Yep. Yep. Excellent. Excellent. So that'll be nice. Um, I wanted to start things off with the ink that I used this okay. week, my ink of the week. The ink of the week. This week it was... Uh, Herbon Bleu Pevanche, which I'll just show you from here, but Justin will give you a closer view later on. Very nice blue. That is a nice um, blue. You haven't seen it yet. It's just very pleasant to look at. And you wrote and that I, with I which I put pen? it in my, what is this? That's the oversized Aqua? Aqua. SD. Uh, I had to buy this pen because it's so peaceful and blue. It is just, very... It made me happy to look at it. Yep. So I said I wanted to have it, even though it has gold furniture. And, you know, I don't care for that very much. But Well, next time you won't wait so long. Wait for what? It's the silver trim, the rhodium trim. Do they have it? Well, they used to. Oh. They don't have it on this pen, though. No, not on that. Because otherwise I would have yes. purchased that one. No, even though it has gold furniture, it's very peaceful. And this ink is really nice in this pen. Is that, is that the writing sample there? That is the writing with sample. That, with that pen? With that pen. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It's a, I call it an azure color. It's very beautiful. It, it has good shading, but I think you'd probably need it in a, a wider nib. This yep. is a fine. Yeah, you've got it in a fine. I, I don't see any feathering. It's it's legible for me and re- Herbon, readable. Herbon inks so. are really, really great. They're really um, solid inks. I've always always liked them. Good flow. Good flow. So that's a winner. That is Excellent. a winner. Um, they have a cute bottle. Is it? That is the bottle and the box. The bottle, of course, has that famous pen rest in the front that is Unusable. It's completely unusable but by anything there. other than a dip pen. Yeah, so they call it a D bottle or demitas. Demitas. Demitas bottle. Demitas. Uh, but yeah, if you had a, uh, it doesn't really. Well, it does. It's sort of. Mm, kind of, sort of. Sort of. If it was really maybe, thin. Maybe it was a feather. Really thin. Yeah. If it was a dip pen, it would fit just fine. So, but yeah, yeah. they've had those, those uh, bottles forever, as long as I can remember. Yep. Um, uh, last week when we introduced my my scheme of trying a new ink every week, uh, ink of the week, uh, we asked people to comment to suggest new inks. Okay. And uh, I will just mention uh, Marilyn Gardner here, who said, I'd like to see Eric try Tasha Ukiyoe Hokusei Benitushi, which happens to be in stock at Anderson Pens. Also, great idea to test a new ink every week. I may steal that. You go right ahead. You go right ahead. It's it's a really good idea. Um, and 
Oh, here, it was Christine Chardonneau that said, if you like pastels, Eric, I would try Bleu Pervenche by J. Herbon, which is what I did. It shades amazingly, and even though I don't love light colors, I keep going back to it. And I understand that now, because it's nice to look at. It's mm -hmm. just peaceful to look at. Um, we needed to pick a winner. A, winner. a random winner. Okay. Uh, from all of the uh, suggestions we got from my ink. And the random winner is... Take Heart Stationery. Okay. Who said, you gotta try Tasha Sabi Midori, yeah. Eric, uh, which I will be trying. And so, um, Take Heart Stationery, please write to Eric at AndersonPens.com so that I can get you the $20 <laughs> to use at Anderson Pens because I, I can't find you. I, I, I cannot contact you through YouTube. So you'll have to contact me, assuming you're watching this. You probably get thirty people. That's fine. I'm going to make you make a new comment <laughs> as Take Heart Stationery. I will prove that you are who you say you are. Steph said, "Give them a password." I said, "Yes, I'll just give the whole world a password." <laughs> we'll we'll make sure you are who you say you are. Fantastic. All right. um, there's some news too. Okay, what's the news? The news is next month is February, also known as Ooh Inco Rimo, Inco Rimo which stands for. International Correspondence Writing Month. Very good, very good. Are you going to participate this year? You know, to the best of your ability. Uh, to the best of my ability, I think this year I'm going to. I always say this. Yes. And in the past, I've always been burdened by the Los Angeles Pen Show, which was right in the middle of the, the month. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and recently, what has been the excuse? The excuse recently, uh, you know. Uh, year, you, know. you know. What is Inco Rimo? I wrote it down. So shall I read it? I'll yes, read it. Inco Rimo challenges you to handwrite and mail or deliver one letter, card, note, or postcard every day during the month of February. This, this is our 10th year. Is it? 10th year. Wow. I dreamt that up a decade ago because I was looking for reasons to use my pens. And, and people participate. Nice. And you can go to IncoRimo.org and put in your address if you'd like people to write to you. Of course, this is a public forum, so you have to be okay with that. And you can find addresses there. But it's a letter a day or a note a day. I prefer postcards. Okay. I do postcard a day. Um, and send them out. You know, I actually have stamps. I have postcard stamps and regular mail stamps. Are so they still different? Is it still cheaper? For yeah, it's still cheaper for postcard, yeah. So... Um, but uh, I already have them, and I already have cards. I got set to go. I bought actually some Christmas cards at uh, Barnes and Noble the other day. Is this leading up to a joke? No, it's not. Oh. But you know, I, I bought all these extra cards. I never use them. I said, you know what? It'd be nice to to use the cards and, and mail them out. So maybe I'll do that. Then go rhyme them. <clears throat> uh, you don't have to mail them. If, or you can handle them. Yeah. yeah, you can handle it. You write us a note every day and deliver it somehow. Then it counts. Okay. In fact, you can write your cats a note. I think you can write yourself a note. You can really easily do this. I can do this. You can do I get do I get like a plaque or a, or a trophy or something at the end if I get, get all You get a warm feeling in your heart that you actually participated and completed for the first time ever. It would be the first <laughs> time ever. <laughs> yes, it would be the first. It time. is it is hard to do. Yeah. It is hard to do. I, I think the most I've ever done was like 6. Oh, well, we'll go for 7 this year. Well, okay. A ship carrying red paint and a ship carrying blue paint collide in the middle of the ocean. Both crews were marooned. First up, we're going to talk about the Edison Beaumont Moonbreaker. This is a dark gray acrylic resin with blue swirls. It has this silver plated clip and trim band with a number six steel nib engraved with the Edison logo. Uh, it's reminiscent of the flat tops in the 1930s, one of the reasons I like it. Uh, a cartridge converter, uh, the converter is included and is available in nib sizes extra fine, fine, medium, broad, a 1.1 and 1.5 italic, uh, gold nibs by special order. And I have one. This is oh, a really, this is a very, really, yes. very pretty acrylic. You like this pen. Yes. And you said, yeah. just like I said, can we talk about the Red 51 Vega? You said, can we talk about this pen? And I said, yes. absolutely. It's your podcast. Yes. And I'm fond of the Beaumont. I don't post it. You do post it, huh? Yes, I, I do post. This pen I post. It's a perfect it's, length posted. It's it's completely postable, but I, I'm not I'm not a poster most of the time. Yeah, it, for me it's a little bit short. Um, I prefer the balance. For me, the balance is a little bit. 
but such a pretty material. It's, it's it's amazing. The more you look at it, the deeper it goes. You know, and on the section two, it's uh, the whole thing. There's no, you know, sometimes you, people would cheap out and you'd have a black section or something, but this is kind of. Nope, this is wonderful. You know, Edison always does the the, the acrylic sections too. Um, you know, you've got your Yovo nib. It, it's uh, it comes out, so you can unscrew it to easy easily clean it. And it comes with a converter. And it comes with a converter. Yep. Now that we're talking about, when you put that back in, the nib unit. Yeah, look at that. You can even see through. You put a little grease on there. Um, I, not always. Nope. If it's stiff, I will, but not always. I, I don't want to get grease in, uh, in, in anywhere where it doesn't need to be. So. You know, I'm doing that ink of the week thing. Yeah. Uh, which means I'm cleaning pens more often than I would like. I'm going to promise the audience right now, we're going to do an, a pen cleaning video okay. in the not so distant future because it just drives me nuts. And it's probably because I'm trying to get my standards are probably too high, so you need to lower. Yeah, them I think me. I think it's 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 impossible to to get a pen completely completely clean. But beautiful pen. This is a beautiful, beautiful pen. pen. Yeah, I, I like this this material a lot. Um, it's a very handsome looking pen. Um, it doesn't jump out at you, but the more you look at it, the more you see the. It's beautiful the and unique. subdued at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's an Edison. Yeah. Good pen. Good pen. So. Next up, let's take another look at the Pininfarina PF2. We talked about them, but we didn't have them. This time we actually have them. I will just repeat what I said last time. It's a fountain pen, rollerball ballpoint. Uh, the fountain pen comes with a number six steel Jovo nib in extra fine, fine, medium, or broad. They are either black or blue anodized aluminum. Um, they are updated, yet timeless. I like the angled ends. The Red Dot Award winner for excellent design, and I completely understand why. Spring-loaded clip that lies flush with the cap when not in use. Magnetic cap, magnetic cap closure comes in with both an ink cartridge and a converter. We have them in our hands this week. Yes. Last time we did not, and we can now answer the question that I asked, does it post? You said you weren't sure. And... It does. It does post. There's actually a, um, uh, looks like a, a, a rubber yeah, or a plastic liner not, on the inside. The cap is not really touching the pen. And you can feel it um, it's, catch. It's it very looks futuristic to me. Yeah, it's fa it looks fast and going. The, the way that clip mm -hmm. is spring-loaded and flush when not in use. I, I really beautiful. like this pen. It's beautiful. And then it's neat when you, uh, when you open it up, you rotate the barrel. I see, I haven't done this yet. And then it comes out, so you, you it's, it's it's an uneven barrel, and then you twist it. Right, and and this because it's not. I was wondering if it's going to get in the way of my fingers, and it yeah. doesn't. It doesn't get in the way of my fingers at all. Yeah. And you said I was really going to like the ballpoint. Ballpoint is super which cool. Is not this one. This is the roller ball. Yeah. Right? So. But. So the ballpoint it's flat ended there. Yeah, it's flat on the end, and you can see the you can see the the refill. But then when you twist it, the whole nose the whole comes nose out. cone yeah, comes that's out. Cool. That's cool. Um, so it's it's a neat neat ballpoint, and that matte blue is amazing. I, I, isn't it? I like them both, but I'm I'm for some reason I'm leaning towards the blue. So yeah, this this fits just like that. But the clips are really cool. The whole thing is cool. Yes, the whole thing it's is a cool. neat looking pen. Um, it's got some weight to it. Um, Cool. I can see why it would win an award. So it's, but when I saw it, I said, I, we have to carry those. And here they are. They're just super cool. Here they are, finally. I may have the world's largest collection, but I doubt it. So and Right here on the table? Yes, <laughs> yes. Well, they're very nice. Very nice. Available now. I don't trust stairs. They're always up to something. Two weeks ago, we started a contest. Do you remember what? Do you remember what it was? <laughs> it's okay. You didn't have to make a big deal. <laughs> Keep going. Leave it in yeah. there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What was it? Ink bottle dude. Yes, ink bottle dude. Yeah, the ink bottle comic. We wanted to get people's suggestions for names. I'm going to read off the names. That okay. Got. Okay. These, are these all the names, or are these the top? 10, uh, 10 or I just 20? picked some as okay. I went down okay. the list. I didn't. Tried to pick the ones I liked or didn't like. I just okay. picked some. Uh, so it's twisty, which I understand because he does that twisty thing when he's... Yep. 
trying to yep. tell a joke. Um, Ink 2D2, we mentioned that last yep. week that yep. you kind of liked. That's creative. Drew Moore, M-O-O-R-E, Drew Moore. Oh. The wittiest ink bottle, Sailor's Sailor, and that's because of the Sailor's Sailor ink that had the, the, had bow, the bow tie, tie. on Yeah, that was he, cute. He was, yeah. Our ink bottle dude was wearing the, the bow tie last time. Ink bottle dude, someone said, stick with Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> IBD, she likes. IBD. Mr. Blotspot, Psychedelic Eric. Cricket. Psychedelic Eric. Crickets. Uh, sometimes when he tells a joke, there are crickets. Yeah, the crickets, yeah, yeah. Inky B, bottle of laughs, king of pun, Eric. King of pun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Eric. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Inky, stinky Inky. I don't know why they think he's stinky. Maybe he just, looks pretty We're clean. just trying to uh, rhyme, I guess. Dipstick, Popeye, the sailor man. Oh, my goodness. Sponge swab square bottle. Can you say that ten times fast? Ten times fast. That, 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 that. Oh, never mind. Dippy the Clown. Don't know where that came from. Okay. Shady square pens. Ooh, got another SpongeBob. And I reference. thought this said Stanley until I typed it here. Stanley. Stanley. Inky. Lots of inkies. Lots of inkies, yeah. Shady eye dropper. Oh. Eye, just eye, period. Shady eye. Ignacio. Period. And John. We John. could just call him John. We could call him John. At any rate, uh, we did asked we, people. Did to, we pick a winner? We did not. We picked a winner. We didn't pick a name. Okay. Uh, we're just going to keep calling him Ink Bottle Dude or Ink Bottle Comic until some other name percolates to the top and okay. we decide we like it. <clears throat> Very uh, good. But we did pick a winner um, at random and the winner is Jackie. Her comment was the wittiest ink bottle. I do love the little dude. So she got dude in there. We could just call him little dude. Little dude. Little, little dude. dude. Yeah, little dude. Oh, fantastic. Little dude. Uh, Jackie, you're going to have to write to Eric at andersonpens.com so that I can contact you because I could not find contact information about you um, through YouTube. I'm going to do a new contest. You do another I'm going to do okay. a new contest. Okay. Uh, this one is... Fantastic. Fantastic. Aren't they all? They're I all think fantastic. they are. Uh, as you know, I asked you if you had a pen. Yes. I asked you if you knew what ink was in it. And then I made you write something that Justin will show us close up. And, and then I went and got another pen because... <laughs> you weren't sure what the ink was. But <laughs> the, this pen, the first one didn't write. <laughs> this pen uh, is a 1960 Sailor Magna. Magna, yeah. Magna. And you know the ink... I do. And we're just asking you to guess the ink in the comments down below. Uh, a one-week contest. You don't have to be right. In fact, don't be right. Uh, we will announce a winner next week. Um, and it'll be a random drawing of everyone who has tried to guess this ink. I don't know what you're using in there. Could be blue Provence. I was going to say. Would, no, wouldn't that be something? It's darker. It's darker. It's Mine is darker or blue Provence is darker? This is darker. Is it? Okay. This is not as peaceful. It's more business. And I'm so, there's one thing you, you haven't commented on. Your, your handwriting? No. What ink is this? Question mark. What should I be commenting on? How fine a nib that is. Uh, well, I noticed that when you wrote so small because usually you don't write this small. But uh, Justin has probably already shown them a picture of this with the pen because the pen is kind of neat. It is a neat pen. So these are these are, um, I guess it's an example of something that's going to be found in our vintage offerings. But it's, uh, we're doing another vintage uh, this month, right? Yep, uh, last Friday. Last uh, Friday of this 20, month, so the twenty eighth. Twenty eighth. Yes. This is a very cool pen. It is a neat pen. Yeah. So that was like made that, in nineteen sixty. I like that sailor logo mm -hmm. on the on the pen like that. Nineteen sixty. Nineteen sixty. Yeah. Oh. Very good. So, very good. New contest. Great. Comment away. It's fun. I'll read some next week. I think that's Aurora Black. <laughs> How do you make a waterbed bouncier? Add spring water. Now we have the Lamy Tipo Blue Black and the Tipo Moss. Coming soon. Right? Coming soon. Cool. Yeah. Um, these are coming this February, special edition colors. Uh, this is a capless rollerball, uh, a stylish modern design with an aluminum body. Uh, it has a clip actuated design which retracts when the tip is out, so you can't clip it into a pocket when open. I happen to have two of them so, right here. Yes. I've got a copper orange, and I believe this one is pearl. Yep. And I like this one. That blue one, what is that? So I've got uh, I've got tourmaline. Tourmaline. Tourmaline, yeah. And then I've got the petrol here. Petrol is nice. They're it's all nice. very yes. nice. Yes. They're all very affordable. And I like these two new colors based on the pictures. Yes, the blue, black, and the moss, I think, are going to look, are going to be uh, nice colors. 
but they're not coming this month. They're coming, you said February. Yes, February, yeah. yeah. And you said, you, oh, I see. The, clip, yeah, so the when end of the clip goes into the pen. It goes into the slot, which means you can't, I mean, if you put it in you, your pocket. You can get it most of the way in there. You can still write on yourself. But you wouldn't be able to clip it in your pocket no. because once this opens up, it retracts. And they all do the same thing? Yep. No. So, but it's a neat, it's a neat pen. Uh, it's, it's, it's practically bomb proof. You can uh, throw I, it in your bag. I generally say everybody needs ballpoint, but these aren't ballpoints. They're capless rollerballs, yeah. Capless rollerballs, mm -hmm. which means... They write fantastic. Oh, they're smooth. They're very, very smooth. Very smooth. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. So. And uh, between the blue, black, and the moss, do you have a favorite? Because I'm leaning to the blue, black, blue, I, I, black I'm, but the moss is very the moss interesting. The is, moss is interesting, but I like the blue, black. That would be my choice, the blue, black. But I'm a, clearly a blue. Okay. The petrol is cool too. Yeah. And next we have some inks. New inks from Sailor. Yes. That I don't know how to pronounce, but I'll give it a try. They are the Sailor Yurameku inks. Great. Great. Uh, they're, the colors of inks change, according to Sailor, based on the color of the paper. I don't think they know. Uh, the, based on the paper and the amount of time the ink sits on the page. That's interesting. Is that, they even said, don't pay too much attention to the swabs because the, yes. the colors will change with yes. time. Yeah, so they have, uh, and, and we should replicate this, they use uh, Apica and I think Tomori River and then something else, I forget, with Midori or something, and then the inks are different colors. We will do that. They come in the 20 milliliter square yep, bottles. Square bottles, yeah. They're soft, muted colors, and they are inspired by the shimmering sky, which I really like. Um, but they are not shimmer inks. No, they're just they're inspired by the yeah. shimmering sky. Uh, I'm going to try my hand <laughs> at pronouncing the colors. There are nine of them. Yoi. I don't know which one that is, though. Okay. And they're, they're all different. Seki. Kangyo. Itezora. Kyoku. Kyokuya. Byakuya. Amamayoi. Kitsun. Biyori. I have no idea what these mean. I have no idea. It means pretty ink. Pretty ink. Pretty ink. They are yeah. gorgeous. Yes. According, I mean, you can't pay any attention to the swabs they provided, but I, it's all I have to look they at. They seem, seem like there's a, a range. There's a range from, of know. muted colors. Yes. There, and yes. I like muted colors. Uh, when? Uh, it, soon. Very soon. Uh, uh, soon. Very soon. And we will have all nine of these. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yep. Very nice. Very so nice. So these will be interesting to see. Uh, I wonder. I don't know does I seem to get different results from any ink depending on the paper don't you find to some that? to some degree yeah but sometimes maybe this will be to more of a degree and I'd, I'm interested in oh, knowing how, so. how they will change color over time depending on how much ink sits on the page I suppose you, how much? Tip, you need a zoom nib or a music nib for this one or a pilot parallel zoom nib for <laughs> sailor ink oh true true very true <laughs> very true well I can't wait to see those because you know I'm kind of into ink this year so and these and we, we should we should note that uh, these are not iron gall. So we have they, verified we verified they're not iron gall. So you don't have to worry about that because that's going to be a question. Well, well, if ink changes, you typically you're talking about it. That iron was gall. the first question, and then I saw on the on the information sheet they provided that they're water based ink. I said, what aren't they? Aren't all inks water based? Like, aren't they? Well, as opposed, water? as opposed to pigment, you know, uh, pigmented. Okay. See, I don't know how to make ink, I don't know. so. Uh, they are not iron gall. They are not iron gall. That's correct. Yes. That was a question. So they're question. They, they're, they're using by. some other other magic to to make it turn colors on different paper. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for joining us. Join us next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. And you can follow the blog for news, uh, ink reviews, and all sorts of other stuff. Check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. And uh, don't forget, we've got a store in Chicago, ground floor of the Palmer House Hilton. Uh, open seven days a week. Seven you'll days find, a week. You'll find Lisa there. You'll be there this weekend. I'll be there, uh, yep, this weekend. Uh, the website is chicago.andersonpens.com. That's right. And uh, like this video and uh, subscribe to the channel. Please like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. And look out this Friday, which is tomorrow, for another hot stuff. We'll see you next time. Uh, Michigan. Michigan. Sailor 50 States, Michigan. Bye.